Okay, real quick, I got a uh, request that uh, I put up some kind of a, di a wiring diagram to show how this welder actually is hooked up. And I'll just kind of show you and I'll try to put up on the screen pictures of the diagram. But of course, this is your relay right here. And that runs to the field. This is a Ford alternator. It come off of an old 77 Ford pickup. It's externally regulated, which means that this alternator normally has a box mounted on the firewall that controls the power output. It regulates the power output. And the way that it regulates it is by varying the voltage on this terminal right here this one of, of course is the one the welder is hooked to this one is your field this is what the voltage regulator normally uses to regulate the current that comes from this the voltage and the current okay but if you put 12 volts to that this terminal right here you have it full fielded which means this alternator will put out the maximum amount of power that it can uh, with the RPMs that you're giving it you know the more RPMs you give it the more power you've got and it's just constant power okay but you don't want to run it like that all the time because it will overheat it and it will burn it up so you have to run it through. You don't have to use a relay. You can just use a switch. But, see, I wanted to run all the way back and down my... I wanted to run it all the way back, you know. I'll show you a picture of the diagram, but this is the wire that's going back, of course. And it is going up into here. This one hadn't been hooked up yet. There we go. Plug that in. Okay. This wire is the one coming from the field, or not the field, from the relay. Sorry. This is coming from the relay all the way up to here. The other side of the relay, of course, is grounded. Okay. The power is coming from this which is where I got all my wires connected for my lock actuators and, and my LED lights and all that, okay? It's controlled by this little box. But it does have a 12 volt power source and that's what I'm tied into. And this, the 12 volt comes from a fuse in the fuse panel um, under the dash. So this is all fused. Now, okay, you got this running down coming up going through this same plug and notice you have two wires here that goes all the way down your cables into this door or uh, horn button and it's just hooked to the screws pretty much that's all that's all there really is to it um, of course you got your hot coming from well from this terminal, this big terminal. And this actually, this is not a store-bought connector. What this is, is a piece of copper tubing. I beat the tubing flat here. And you can tell it's tubing there. Drilled a hole in it, crimped it on the end of this two alt wire, and then just on this end, I just left the bare wire so you can hook the jumper cable straight down onto it. See, that's all it is. It's just the bare copper wire. And it just gets hooked on like that. Of course, your flat gets hooked on as a ground. Uh, red gets hooked on as your welding rod. It just sits in 
sits in there, you know, just held in like that. But hopefully that, uh, hopefully that answers your questions. And uh, if not, uh, send me a message and I'll try to help out more. But uh, that's about it for now. Thank you for watching.